You're listening to Catholic Sprouts, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Monday, January 6th, 2020. This week on the Catholic Sprouts podcast, we are getting back into the swing of things after celebrating a beautiful Christmas, and we are kicking off a new series here on Catholic Sprouts that will explore all of the seven sacraments in a way that I hope is easy to understand, but even more than that, exciting because the sacraments are awesome. Before we do that, though, let's look back on all the amazing things that we have had the honor of celebrating in the last couple weeks. So to review, way back on December 25th, we had Christmas, of course. The next day, December 26th, was the feast day of St. Stephen. St. Stephen has the honor of being the first martyr of our church, meaning he was the first follower of Jesus to be killed because he followed Jesus. Now, that might seem strange that we have the very day after Christmas, the day where we're celebrating the first person to die for Jesus, but it reminds us of just how amazing the gift we received on Christmas is. The gift of Jesus born as a tiny baby and what he came to do on earth is so amazing that it's worth dying for. Now, the next day, December 27th, was the feast day of St. John the Evangelist, also known as the Beloved Disciple. The next day, December 28th, we celebrated the feast day of the Holy Innocents. Now, the feast day of the Holy Innocents It celebrates all of those little babies in Bethlehem that died because Herod was so afraid of the new Savior's birth. Remember, when the kings did not return to Herod, Herod ordered that all little boys in the city of Bethlehem be killed in the hopes that he would eliminate the Messiah that had been born. Thankfully, Joseph listened to the dream that he received. And of course, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph escaped through Egypt. But we honor all those little babies that lost their lives. They, in a way, are also early martyrs who died so that Jesus Christ might come into the world and save us all for our sins. Now, a few days later, on December 31st, the very last day of the year, was the feast day of the Holy Family. On this day, we celebrate Mary, Joseph, and Jesus, who were the Holy Family, and we remind ourselves that they are the first Holy Family, and that all families that have come to be after them, including my family and your family, are called to follow their example and also to be holy. The very next day, the first day of this year, January 1st, it was a feast day of Mary, the mother of God. And it was not just a feast day, it was a solemnity. So I hope that you took that to heart and went to mass on the first day of this year to celebrate Mary and the great gift that she brought to us, Jesus Christ. Now, a couple days after this, on January 3rd, we celebrated the feast day of the most holy name of Jesus. And in fact, the entire month of January is dedicated to the holy name of Jesus. Remember, my friends, Jesus, even his name is so powerful. When you are facing temptation or fear, just uttering his name and believing in the strength of his name can really save you. It can send Satan flying away from you. So never forget this. The very name of Jesus is so powerful. It has its own feast day. So use that name well. Never take it in vain. Never say it casually. But always remember that this is the name of God. God who came to live with us on Christmas. And then finally, yesterday, January 5th, was the Feast of the Epiphany. Now, hopefully, you know what the Epiphany is, but the Epiphany celebrates when the three kings came to visit Jesus. 
we celebrate that they weren't there right away, but they followed the star and they came to see Jesus a while after he was born. And of course, they brought many great gifts to him, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And either on the Feast of the Epiphany or soon thereafter, which is a great thing to do today, it's a great thing to pause. Now, we have spent so much time getting gifts, at least most people have, and we probably haven't spent much time about thinking about the real birthday boy, Jesus Christ. What are you going to give him for his birthday? Remember, the three kings came and offered gifts to him. So my challenge for you today, before we dive into talking about all things sacraments tomorrow, my challenge for you is to remember that it's Jesus's birthday. We're still in the Christmas season right now. So remember that you should be giving him something. Jesus particularly loves gifts of your time and also gifts of service and love to other people. So my challenge for you today, Sprouts, as we conclude all of these wonderful Christmas feast days that we have been celebrating, is to bring your attention once again back to Jesus and to really think, what am I going to give Jesus for a birthday present this year? Simple things could be, I'm going to give him 10 minutes of prayer every day, or I'm going to give him an hour of adoration every week, or I'm going to do some loving act of kindness for my sibling or my parent, or I'm going to give up something I love so that I might love him better. Maybe I'm going to give up candy or gum so that every time I want it, but don't have it, I instead can offer that to Jesus as a gift. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow. But until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God created you to be. Just one more thing. I'd like to wish you all a very happy new year and a very holy new year. And I'd also like to say thank you. Thanks to the generous support of nearly 200 patrons. We have been able to make some incredible improvements to the Catholic Sprouts podcast, including a professional editor, much better equipment, and help with the content. If you would like to become a patron this new year and really commit to teaching the faith in your home or classroom, I encourage you to come join us. Come find a link in the show notes for this podcast. Click over. And for just $4 a month, you get access to tons of free material and a great community also committed to raising saints.